So, ChatGPT just released a new feature called Study Mode, and I gotta say, from my first impression, this feature is just really amazing. It's very useful, and it gives you much better answer when you are trying to learn any concept. So, this feature is now available on all plans on ChatGPT. Even if you're using the free version of ChatGPT, you should be able to enjoy the Study Mode. But then, how do you use it? Well, it's quite simple. Just navigate to chatgpt.com or you can also use the mobile app version on, on your phone and make sure that you're running the latest version. And here you can start a new chat, click tools and enable study and learn. So that's the study mode and then you can write a topic or ask a question to AI and the answer is going to be a lot more interesting, a lot easier to follow and for my opinion is much better than the regular version of ChatGPT. So let me give you one example and I'll, I'll show you how you can use this feature and a few things that you might want to know when you are using study mode on ChatGPT. So this is a question that I sent to the regular version of ChatGPT. And by the way, I'm using the free version of ChatGPT. So I asked AI, explain to me why 0.999 infinitely repeating equals to one. And this is the answer. I would say ChatGPT has improved a lot and the answer is getting better and better. It feels more human and generally speaking, a lot more satisfactory compared to a few months ago. But still, in this regular mode, I would say it's a bit too complicated and it's not really proactive. So one feature that I like about study mode is that it is implementing a, an approach called, it, called Socratic questioning. So that's really just a fancy way of saying that, hey, this AI will pretend as a teacher and it is actually really just a custom instruction. Uh, they actually reveal that, that this is really just a custom instruction that they have designed with some scientists, uh, teachers, etc. And they make this instruction as a mode in ChatGPT. So yeah, it's really just a uh, custom instruction that ChatGPT has designed, but still I think it's really, really useful. Now let's compare that. Let's compare this answer on the regular version of ChatGPT with the study mode. This is the answer from the study mode. I use the same question, explain to me why 0.99 equals to one. And before it's giving me the answer, it is actually asking me, have you worked with infinite decimals or limits before? It is practically trying to understand what is my intellectual level or my knowledge level so it can better give me the answer. And I tell AI that, hey, I never worked with decimals or limits before. Please uh, give me some explain explanation. And this is the answer. It's give me the step-by-step -step process to understand the whole concept. So step number one, what is decimal? And then step number two, uh, let's try a pattern. And then step number three, uh, one is the cool trick. It's basically the final solution of the answer. And I would say it's a lot easier to understand compared to the regular version of ChatGPT. And also it feels more personal. Uh, the choice of languages or the wordings are just uh, not too formal like the regular version. So I think you are going to be benefited by this feature a lot, especially if you're a student. But again, if you're not a student, I think you can still use this feature to learn basically anything. And it's also able to actually access your history. So it, it is becoming more personal and uh, it will ask, also try to know or at least better know your skill level, your knowledge level, and, and therefore the answer is going to be much more relevant. So go ahead, navigate to chatgpt.com or you can use the mobile app version click tools and click study and learn and then you can start using this feature to learn basically anything. And fun fact, this is actually not the only AI mode for learning. Gemini actually has something similar a few months ago. You can navigate to gemini.google.com. This is some alternative in case you prefer to use Gemini. So you can navigate here to the menu and then click explore gems and then enter the learning coach. It is very similar, but uh, I would say it's uh, ChatGPT when it comes to the choice of languages, it's just a bit more personal than Gemini. At least that's from my uh, view. But feel free to use Gemini Learning Coach or the study mode on ChatGPT to help you learn any concept or topic. So uh, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.